Right, I cleaned up this program pretty well. It was pretty messed up. Um, it's a lucky, I had a lucky accident. I'm, I'm sometimes I'm like Mr. Magoo when I'm working on the game because I made an error here that ruined the game before and I know how I made it. Being that when I played the game, it wouldn't show the camera in the first display one, the first camera angle, it wouldn't show it. It would it'd come up blank. Or it would be shown through the perspective of when the Eileen projectiles. We throw Eileen, it would be fine until you throw Eileen projectile, right? When you throw Eileen projectile, all of a sudden the camera shifts to the Eileen projectile point of view and it can't come out of it. It gets stuck that way. On that one Eileen you throw, that initial Eileen you throw, the camera gets stuck inside of her head for some reason. And it was screwed up for months, or at least a month. And then I had this thing just laying down open because I didn't want to shut down the, the computer, so I had to re reload. So I uh, just laid it down with the um, screen, you know, this is a touch screen, okay, a drawing tablet, then on top of the keyboard. And I accidentally pressed a button that made it delete several tiles of these, um, the, the area here, the terrain. I believe three out of four tiles of the terrain got destroyed. And in that, it destroyed a lot of the project, the, um, the target blocks that had stacked up. A lot of those got destroyed also, which ruined the project in a way because the project was load because those assets were missing. However, it also got rid of whatever I had in the game that was making the camera angle shift from Wolf, looking at Wolf from third person to first person out of Eileen's point of view, is gone. Somehow I deleted that along with everything else I deleted. So I got the program working right. And it was stuck to not be able to work because those deleted uh, blocks, and see these, these cylinders here, these are the targets, right? These are targets. And these blocks here are targets. Now, both of those are required to be in there because they have certain scripts attached to them. And being that some of them are missing, the game couldn't load. So I had to go through the hierarchy here on the right side and delete all the ones that were missing. When they were like maybe 150 or more. And they were spread out sporadically on a, on a list of maybe over a thousand. So that's where we are. And I, I got that finished fixed. So I got this program working. I got Ellie's animation working. More importantly here, in this build of the game, I got Ellie's animation almost working. 50% working and I got a new script for behavior for her. So she's supposed to shoot arrows at one point, and then after that, after she shoots arrows and she runs out of arrows, then she goes to uh, swing her knife. So now, just put the armor of the knife and armor of the arrows, and give her a shoot animation with a shooting animation, and then she'll pretty much be good to go. Besides the power up I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a power up where she can pick up a machine gun and fire a machine gun for 30 seconds. And that's pretty much the state of the game. It's almost, or close to a wrap for this level, this bonus level, which is a bonus level of a game that's probably never going to be published because it's using third-person characters. In this current form, it won't be ever published in this form. It'll be published in a different form with um, the characters swapped out with generic characters because I would have to do because I can't use Wolf and Safina and Ellie. They're owned by other people. So that's it. And that's the bottom line because Godoku says so. And I have the keyboard. I have the you know, things set up here. The uh, joystick, but it's not, it's really shitty. These micro USB wires are the worst invention ever made. They sometimes don't make contact, you have to tape them up so they actually make contact and tape them in weird ways so the computer will recognize it so it actually plugs in and works. See, now I think it just made a sound. And also, you have to use it like half plug out the USB cord to make it register just to be able to use a dim stick. I mean, this is it's super, super faulty. They need to, I'm glad they made USB-C because it's probably more stable than USB micro B. All right, so that's where we are. And I could, because why I was looking for the controller is so I can get Wolf into the camera angle. But I can change the display from, see now it's a display three, you can change display one. You might even have Wolf in the shot if I put it in display one. But see, I have to make a way so you can change the camera angles in game. Right now I can only change the game camera angles in dev kit right now in the Uni, Uni engine. But I don't have a way to change the camera angle while you know while playing from a controller, like a controller menu. All right, Wolf is not. He's probably the far. He's in the corner on the back, the far left here. See that left part? That's probably where Wolf is. So I have to change the camera to, to, from display one. I'm trying to try display two. Display two can show him. Oh, display two, so it's a different camera angle. It's not really useful. So that's Scarlet Witch on the left. Um, I'm gonna put her in a different game. I just put her in just to get her up and running. I had a, when you first come around and put her in this game in the in the scene, she has no textures. You have to do a certain trick. With